Right then, into the cathedral we go. I do have a feeling that we're nearing the end of our journey. What do we have? Um, we have lots of pictures. Hmm, symbol. Man with weird beard. Um, what do we have here? Is that a roller coaster for skeletons? Okay, we have a kind of Grim Reaper type character. A chair in a kind of. Hmm, I don't know what I'm seeing there. What do we have here? Ah, yes. I've seen this before. Have I seen this before? I'm not sure. Maybe. Figures going inside across a drawbridge, is that? Or just up some steps into the castle? With a kind of figure looking on. People heading towards the cathedral, yeah. Okay. Hold on, a moment, a little while ago. Did we not. Oh, we took those, but. I've used all of these, haven't I? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I've no notes of any interest. Okay, so that's everything on that side. What else can we see? People going through. People crossing some unsettling arches, yeah. They are unsettling. Is that a kind of... Oh, there's another figure down here in, outside of some big building. Okay, somebody arriving in a balloon to... A balloon over the ruins of a city. I see. It's not... The balloon is not the same as the one I arrived at the very beginning of the game in. That was more of a kind of blimp. What on earth is that? A structure of some sort. Yeah, that's a apt description. Okay, a face in the wall. That's really gross. How does that one get described? Yeah, it's a grotesque face set in a twisted grin. Some kind of bone trees with a figure walking between them. Like heaven connected to earth. Weird. Okay. And lastly. Is that a kind of. Are these antlers or horns or wings of a cloaked man with a vial next to it. Okay, interesting. Further in. More pictures and a doorway and a note. What does the note say? A crown does not a king make. A heart does a king make. A king must have his heart open for all, giving hope for a better tomorrow. Hope is not a dream. It is the way of transforming dreams into reality. Should the king open himself to others, the secret within the crown will open before him as well. So, if the king has a good heart, then the crown, i.e. his rule, will be successful. We have more images. Strange kind of skull-faced figure. What on earth is that? A painting depicting some unusual architecture. Yeah, it looks like a Frank Gehry building. Hmm. Is that a kind of figure inside a tornado of some kind? I can feel this being's anger. That's odd. Like a little plant man and his friends. 
And another of these unusual structures. There's almost a face there, look, in the in the base. Okay, inside of one of the structures, perhaps? Weird. Kind of cliff... Oh no, they're not cliffs. Are they figures? Walking figures? Yeah, hooded beings, marching one by one. And lastly... Yes, a kind of... almost an ent. A skull ent. Odd. Okay, what's in this? Whoa, 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 that was a sudden noise that freaked me out. Weird. He, ah! He's a blind artist. That's amazing. How on earth does that work? Let's talk to him. Look, Cat, we have unexpected visitors. Visitors, and rather smart too, wielding the power of code breaking. Since you are already here, please tell me how is life outside the cathedral. We rarely leave these walls, you see. The village destroyed, I can see. Building this sanctuary many years ago was a wise idea. You have lost your memory and hope to regain it by awakening the statue on the hill. I'm afraid you are mistaken. Most who come here seek redemption from their sins. Apparently the statue attracts individuals with a deeply rooted conviction of their own evil. Are you any different? I see. If one of the few who have crossed the gates... I'm one of the few who have crossed the gates hidden within the sculpture and returned. Not many believe my tales. Most believe I've gone insane. It was many, many years ago. I've paid a high price for my recklessness. I've gone completely blind, and yet for, to this day I struggle to recreate in my paintings what I saw on the other side. I want them to be warnings for people like yourself. Believe me when I say nothing good will await you when you cross to the other side. Nevertheless, to have the passage revealed to you, you must thrust into the statue a sword made of metal from the stars. I buried mine a long time ago. Do you remember where I buried it, Cat? Oh yes, you weren't even born back then. What do you say, Cat? Shall we help him? If my paintings and my words do not discourage you, then I can do nothing more to stop you. I can draw you a sword design that will reveal the gates behind the sculpture. The star metal you will still need to find on your own. Before I help you, however, I will ask of you a small favour. Take this set of tools and restore 30 of my paintings. Time is slowly consuming them. In exchange for your effort, I will prepare a star sword blueprint for you. Right. Meow. Okay. Brushes. I've picked up the prepare kit. Lots of work ahead. It does seem like that. Whenever you're ready, my cat will show you the way to the paintings in need of restoration. Don't listen to the old fool. Why bother? I'll just show you the paintings behind which the old man hid the pieces of star sword sketch. Look at the wall. I marked it with my claws. But there's one tiny detail. To get to the blueprints, you will need to cut the paintings up. But that's no real loss. Here is a set of knives. Go ahead and use them. The demented old man won't even notice. He's already completely blind and can hardly hear. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I've picked up the canvas cutting knives. I have to think twice before using them. Yeah, I'd rather restore them. I mean, why not just restore them? Why not just... I'd rather restore... So I can restore 30... Or destroy 3. Let's restore... I've restored the first painting. I mean, I've basically just spent the last five minutes looking at these paintings, and now I'm going to look at them. I have to look at them all again. Okay, so is this the old? Is this the man who's gone blind, coming across deer in a forest? Okay. Well, let's look at the paintings. I'm quite interested in them. Okay, a woman behind some something. A weird. Tree dragon, plant dragon, bizarre. Ah, uh, a person, a traveller down below while someone watches and drinks strange water.
Yeah, I mean, it's much nicer restoring the uh, paintings than destroying them. I mean, even if I'd played, I've played the game in quite a quite a good heart, I think, and I'd like to continue that. I don't see why I should start cutting paintings up, even if I was a bit of a evil fella. Some people at the base of a huge stone face, yeah. These were the ones the cat wanted me to destroy. The house at night. Okay. What's this one? Fortresses, perhaps? Some kind of... Hmm, weird. I wonder if the blind man is depicting himself inside these pictures at all. Hmm. This is what he says he saw behind the statue, which which is where I'm trying to travel to. I'm kind of determined to go there. I think the game is taking me there naturally anyway. I can't really refuse unless I just stopped playing the game. So I wonder. Skull face. Okay, interesting. So I can, I've done those ones, and now we're going to have to do the ones that I've already done, I guess. Or I suppose I could go through and do some of these. Oh no. Oh, it's the same room, is it? It's the same room. Through that way, or through this way. Ah, no, that's... These are... Ah, I haven't looked at these ones. That's good. I can actually look at these, which is nice. A tin man with a some kind of... Ah, with a little human in between his fingers. What's the kind of... What's the kind of point that this game is trying to make? What are we on the... There's a lot of kind of... Talk of misery and... Hope. Lost hope. And also, there's sort of clearly religious overtones. Hmm. There was a structure like this in one of the earlier paintings, and it was talked between a, a, a bridge between connecting earth and heaven. But so there's there's definitely religious stuff going on. And the castle guards are trying to torture people for their wickedness, which is a very sort of, um, that looks like a heart, like a heart. Hmm. Torture people for their wickedness, very sort of, um, Spanish Inquisition-y. Just kind of, uh, brutal will torture you till you confess style uh, work and going to this uh, going through beyond is that something about kind of going beyond religion or something or going beyond God am I just making am I sort of thinking about this too much right let's um Let's just do one out here. We'll do just this one up here. And leave that will leave me with one to go, which is this one. Oh no, there's, oh, there's two! That's a, what an idiot I am. Right, so we'll do this one. I have restored all 30 paintings the old man requested. Time to claim my promised reward. I'm kind of werewolves or something there? I sense as if my works were painted yesterday. Marvellous. Do you like my paintings now, cat? My cat is very pleased as well. You have deserved your reward. I will draw you the sword design that I keep in my memory. If you're still so determined to go there, be careful. 
Okay. I wish you good luck and be careful. I see, so I think he's drawn it in here. Yeah, he has. Right. How does the cat feel about this? You fool, why all the trouble? He could just steal this you could just steal the sketch, it would work just as well. He can't hear us, he's pretty much deaf. Well, because I'm a nice guy, cat. Okay. So I have the design for the sword. The painter locks the cathedral door. He really values his privacy. So I'm stuck outside. Now I need parts for my sword, don't I? What's this way? Ah, I haven't even been over here. Wow. Okay, what we got here? I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Let's talk to this person. There is sorrow in the wind today. Can you feel it? A great battle took place here. We were attacked by knights from the castle, obsessed by the idea of purging us of evil. They were aided by someone we once took for a friend. He cast a poisonous fog around our village, leaving us defenceless against the knights. If I'm not mistaken, he belongs to the race of Grey Ikari. You may identify them by their large, tattered wings. I've already met one. He probably sold us for a handful of eggs. Still, we were lucky enough to injure him. He could have, couldn't have gone far. What do we have here? Okay, a puzzle that I need to complete, I think. One of the stone discs is missing here, yeah. I can't move this piece. It may be due to the missing disc. Yeah, I guess it is. So we're looking for a disc. Right, it looks like one of the great Ikari caused all of this destruction. Wow. Yeah. Another warrior's corpse. What do we have here? The keys on the instrument have markings I've never seen before. One night a winged creature came to our camp. It asked for shelter and we gave it shelter. Little did we know it would prove to be a false-hearted traitor spreading a paralyzed fog under the cover of night. He sold us out for a handful of eggs, undoubtedly. These fine creatures have a weakness for them. Please find him and I shall offer you my help. He's wounded. He can't be far. We have another person over here. Ah, look, it's the, um, lizard. Hello again, friend. Soon after you gave me the crown, my assistance was requested. I was to protect frozen tears from the castle invaders. Oh no, he's gonna die. The crown turned out to be a worthless piece of metal. I was to gain unlimited power. It was but an empty promise. Legends have played a cruel joke on us. How were you to know? We all make mistakes. Oh, the poor guy. But he was a good guy. I was right to trust him. The fire consumes everything around. Okay, so where am I going? Where am I going? Can I? Am I going this way? No, that's just a burning wreck. Oh, that's a shame. The poor old lizard. But is there is there some sort of meaning in that? The crown, like a yeah, almost a kind of Holy Grail esque item which is promised to be some kind of redeeming item of theological history but turns out basically just to be a worthless cup okay so I'm not sure so no use to me Ah, I know what I need to do. I need to go to the blacksmith, don't I? Okay. Oh, hello. I can go onto the roof. Uh, hello. We meet again. Know that should you have given me the egg, none of this would ever happen. I wouldn't have to sell myself to the castle out of hunger. This is all your fault. Now please, just let me die in peace. I witnessed petty desires leading to great tragedies. Not wasting any more time, I returned to the burning village to report on the results of my search. 
Hmm. Have you found the winged traitor? Whoa. Be silent and spare him. Um. Now, on one hand, he did ask for the village's help, and they did take him in, and then he led the attack against them, killing them all. And he told me it was my fault because I didn't give him an egg. And he said it was because of hunger. I think I will tell them about him. Be silent. He's going to die anyway. Do I really want to... Do I really want to be part of the revenge? If he's going to die, which is what he... He's going to die either way. Perhaps we'll just leave him to die in peace. I guess you haven't found him. The winged creature must have escaped very well. We will catch it soon enough. I have some advice for you. The music will show you the way. Okay. And the dove. Right. So I have some kind of notes. I'll try to play them. Okay. But they're upside down. Right. They are upside down. So it's... Plane is very slowly. Um, I have to read it upside down. That was correct, I think. That was correct. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't. Then not only. No, I think I made a mistake. So it's... Excellent. I got it right. Whoa. What's happening? Fire consumes everything around. Okay, so what happened there? Ah, it's the other piece of the puzzle. I'm taking the stone disc. I don't want the lizard man to die. Ah. But it seems like he has to. Okay, I have to line the discs correctly. Ah, I see, okay. I need to shuffle these around. That one's in the correct spot. They... Okay, wait, 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 wait. This, that one there needs to be that one there. So if I move that, 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 that's correct. Now, this one needs to come, oh no, this, this one needs to come down. That's correct. That's correct. Oh no, I can't do it. That one needs to get back there. move those around a bit. Okay, this is going to be interesting. How do I move that one up to there? I need to get it in between those two. Like 
that. Do I just keep shuffling these round? Will that work? I think it will. That one's correct now, that one's correct now, that one's correct now, that one's correct. That's correct. There you go. No? Are these the wrong way around? There you go. Star metal. Perfect. Take it to the blacksmith. Okay. Here he is. Can I go up there and see the Kari? Dead. The least he deserved was a peaceful death. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Alright then, Mr. Blacksmith. Bring me the metal I can use to forge the star, star sword. The blacksmith devotedly begins crafting the sword. The notes I collected at the Mad Painter's Cathedral have pro proven very useful. Wow. I've taken the Star Sword. The blacksmith did a fine job. Right, Mr. Blacksmith, thank you for your help. Drive the blade into the sculpture on the hill. If the stories are true, a passage should be revealed to you. Off we go. Off we go. Another sword to be stabbed into this sculpture. Something's happening. The sword has awakened the sculpture. Okay. Now we have a portal of some kind. That sculpture's really spooky with the hands on the end of fingers. It's very horrible. And in we go. I feel a force lifting me upwards as my body becomes limp. That feeling as if time had stopped, or had it ever existed. I'm blinded by light. I don't know what is happening to me. I felt as if my heart were being, were being ripped to shreds. When I open my eyes, I realise I'm somewhere else completely. Okay, we're through. We are through. Okay, we can go left or right. Sculpture is basically the same, but in a different world. Whoa! Look at this. My beasts protect the way down, and below the final truth awaits. Either good or evil will open the doors of fate. Bring the right key, and I shall allow you entry. Either good or evil, bring the right key. Okay. That is really, really horrible. They seem fused to the ground, staring in horror at the many-headed beast. They look as if there were no more hope for them. It's true. Okay, so to the right we go. Hmm, weird. What do we have here? I'm pleased to see that you have made it this far. We have been waiting for you. To find the truth, you will need a, f you will need a key. Make your choice. Choose the key of light if you consider yourself a good person with a clear conscience. Choose the key of dark darkness if it's darkness that lies within your heart. The decision is yours. Remember, the destiny we have is the destiny we are. So I think that... What are you waiting for? Choose your key. I think that basically the way we've played the game will reflect on what we can do. So... We have no actual indication, but apart from the design, which is always a bit of a misnomer, playing this game. This could easily be the the key of light, but we'll go with what seems most obvious. Yes, I have taken the key of light. My conscience is clear. I think my conscience is clear. What's the, you've chosen your key. Go now and meet your destiny. I'm actually quite interested to find out. No way back to Frozen Tears. Okay, so... 
what do you think? I hope you're ready to know the final truth. From this point on, there is no return. Crawl deep down into a place where either good or evil shall open the doors of your destiny. Right. Okay. Down we go. Crawling on my knees, I squeeze through a tunnel completely devoid of light. Under my hands, I can feel bones scattering on the slippery surface, my nostrils overwhelmed by the stench of rotting flesh. The only thing I find at the end of the tunnel is a ladder leading further down. I have no choice but to take it. As I descend the ladder, I notice an elevator. Wow. Okay. There's no way back up. In we go. So the dial is going up, but we are actually descending. As I enter the elevator, I lose track of time. The ride down seems to have no end. The initial excitement gives way to frustration. Is this some form of punishment? Everyone I have met during my journey has begun to return in my memory. Some of the memories are connected with regret. Were my actions always right? I will never know. The elevator continues to descend the never-ending abyss. Slowly, I fall into the arms of Morpheus. In my dream, I see an old man who, at the end of his life, understands the concept of hell, the wasted chances, all the opportunities we missed during our lifetime. He keeps wondering how his life would look today, had he seized all the opportunities he missed, but this cannot be done, there is no second chance. Upon this realisation, he plunges into sorrow, which will last an eternity. I am overtaken by the paralysing fear that I might be that old man. At this moment, I wake up. The elevator has suddenly slowed its descent. That's quite a poignant thing to say. So, we are on a precipice near the elevator, and there are lots of hanging basket cages with humans inside. I think I have to weigh the key. Wow. Long have I waited for you, but you are finally succeeding in wading through the remnants of your memory to find me. This place is buried deep underground, just as your memories are in the chasm of your consciousness. I assume you have many questions, as does every lost soul who enters here. You might prefer to disbelieve, but your body has long since been consumed by the earth. Wow. That's why I couldn't see my face. Everything you've experienced in the castle, in the wasteland, in frozen tears, it was just a spectacle, a projection of your shattered memories. A unique world created solely for the purpose of determining whether the nature of your soul can still change. You must wonder what events led you here. Be warned, the truth may be cruel and difficult to accept. Jealousy. This was the catalyst of your deeds, leading to your tragic end. Behold the final moments of your life. Your obsessive jealousy drove you to murder your beloved, killing yourself soon afterwards. You had no courage to live with a sin so heavy, choosing instead to escape. Wow. With your cowardly act, you closed two books. This was another and final display of cowardice. Deep within their soul, anyone knows too well that although suicide might be a solution, it is a truly shameful one, and when all seems lost, it is more honourable to be defeated by life itself than suffer death by your own hand. In effect, your soul arrived into a world formed from the fragments of your memories, dreams, and nightmares. All this so you could redeem your sins, prove that you are worthy of salvation, or confirm you deserve eternal damnation. You were given another chance. Let us see if you succeeded. The Horned Knight did not have to die. Who gave you the right to decide whether someone else lives or dies? In my defence, I... I didn't realise that... Well, that was going to happen, it kind of just happened accidentally. This, there was also good in your deeds. Behold, you saved your fellow prisoner, even though you did not have to. His heart was not pure, but no creature truly deserves death. You were being told to kill the woman trapped in a cage, but you chose to act rationally. You repaired the door to the spider's den while you could have opened it. You avoided unnecessary bloodshed. You saved the being from the crossroads from dreadful torment. You freed the man imprisoned at the bottom of the well. You gave the crown to the lizard from the tower. You chose well. He was a very wise being, incapable of using the crown's power to do wrong. I thought that. I really, really thought that. 
You let the Icarus die in peace. You lived in order not to reveal his hiding place. You lied in order not to reveal his hiding place, but you are forgiven. Your intentions were noble. The paintings meant a lot to the painter. Their restoration was a drop of joy in a sea of sorrows for this old man. The jester's heart was shrouded by darkness, and yet you were able to forgive him and give him a second chance. The decisions you had to make during your journey were put before you to test your corrupted soul. You were not perfect. I noticed a single flaw on your soul. However, in your final choice, you were driven by pride, not admitting before yourself that you may not be perfect. Oh dear. You have been given one final chance, and you have squandered it. Your soul shall be damned for eternity. Wow. Wow, Tormentum, Dark Sorrow. In loving memory of Mikislav Roskowski. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. My, um... My one blemish was to kill the knight. Sorry, to kill the guard. And that was a pure accident. And I've been banished for... My soul has been banished for all eternity. Because I accidentally killed the guard. Who was torturing someone. Lest we forget. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, I enjoyed that. Quite interesting, quite, uh, quite thoughtful, and uh, very, very, very beautifully designed. Very nice indeed. Thank you for watching my uh, let's play, my blind let's play of Tormentum Dark Sorrow.